I'm gonna show you guys the best WQ drop spot in chapter 5. We can get max out metal in 40 seconds, mythics, medallions, and easy rotation around the entire map. The main thing with this POI is its complete speed, and you wanna head straight over to a little south of Reckless Railways. It's gonna be right over here. And we're gonna head over here, what? and as you can see, this shed will have one to two chests. Sometimes it won't have any, but you're gonna be able to find floor loot in those cases. Either way, though, we're gonna head straight down to this building, which is gonna be brick and metal, but it's actually mostly metal. So as soon as we hop over here, you're gonna be able to see this junkyard, which is gonna give you almost maxed out metal right away and the fences around it will actually take you to that mark. I'm gonna farm all of this up really quickly. We're already at 100 after just a few hits. And last piece of the junkyard will take us to one more hit, 499. There we go, maxed out metal, perfect. Now right over here, you're also gonna see some more barrels. I could have farmed those as well for mats. Oh, what is this AI doing, bro? Almost every time you're going to be contested by an AI. I don't know what it is, but they're always just here. Sometimes two of them. Now we're going to head straight out of here and we're going to go over to Reckless Railways. All right, somebody's fighting the NPC, it looks like. So we're going to let them do that. Yup, they're going for it. They're going for it. They said this person might actually be good. I don't know. I'm going to do that real quick. We don't want to let them actually eliminate the NPC because they could actually be really good. And having medallion is kind of broken. So we don't want to let them full the NPC. We just want to let them hit him. I don't know if they did. Yeah, they did. All right, perfect. We got that done. Ooh, they threw fireflies? What the? It's a weird trap. All right, there we go. Got the SOG, and we got the medallion. Perfect. All right, now there's one more guy we're going to take out. Like I said, this is a W key drop spot, so I am going to be fighting people, even if they aren't good. Otherwise, you guys can avoid that. I'm out of AR ammo, but I'm still pushing them. Because this SFG, this SFG is going to carry me right there. There we go. We're going to open up the vault with the medallion, and there we go. And as soon as we're in here, we're gonna be able to get attachments, more heals, more ammo. The ammo is actually really, really important. But if you're not maxed out, basically like I am, just grab this, there we go. We already have the sniper that's on these walls, so we're just gonna upgrade this. And this already has a decent scope, but I'm gonna upgrade it to an actual sniper scope. We're gonna keep a speed bag on this one, or just upgrade it to that. And you're gonna have a suppressor on this because you don't want that muzzle flash. Forecast Tower is gonna be the final step of the loot route. All right, you, you want to go, bro? There you go. They lowered the health on the NPCs, so just get them. It's super easy. But this time, we didn't even have to do that. So, secure forecast. And what that does is it allows us to see future zones. A lot of you guys probably already know that. And this is going to be extremely important if you guys want a W key in Chapter 5. This map has a ton of variability. The height varies so much. So, if you guys want to manipulate that, zone hold. That's literally it. Zone hold. All you want to do is get this forecast tower and you'll be able to see where people are and who's in the worst position possible. Trust me, it's going to help you out if you hold the cards. And if you know where people are in a bad position and they don't even know they're in a bad position, then you're going to have an extreme advantage. Oh, wait, is this is actual player? Okay, watch this. See how the cards protect me from my entire top? And now I have this side area because this shotgun is pretty. Oh, there's another player. I think these are just NPCs or AIs. I don't understand why they're all AIs. This is where an SMG is going to help out. You see how he has a sniper and he's playing really bad? He could literally headshot me, so we're just going to wait for him to stop scoping in. There we go. There we go. All right, we dodged that little snipe right over there. He could have gotten me. Looks like I'll be fine. This, they, they haven't even taken each other out yet? What's going on, bro? Oh, one of them has a sniper. Careful. One of them does have a sniper. I could get sniped here. I could have a lucky sniper. There we go. See, right there? He almost sniped me. We're not gonna stay for that. All right, see the grapple right there helps me? We're gonna go over, we're gonna get a second to reload our shotgun and we're gonna pop this after And Oh, he's in a build fight, I think. Okay, see how that flowberry kind of propelled us a little bit farther? It's gonna help you out with that type of stuff. So range, mobility, all that. Okay, there we go. He had the other medallion. All right, we're getting fully stacked out right now, guys, but we have to play safe. Now, see how I have this uh, forecast? There's basically nobody over here, and this is in zone, so we're going to base up on height. Now, I've recorded a video with another drop spot where I got sniped in a very similar situation. I got fourth place, and it was almost directly after I said I don't want to get sniped. So I've learned I'm not peeking nobody. We're going to wait over here. I just realized zone is actually going over there, so what I want to do is get to the very edge of this zone so I can rotate back to my base. You see right over there, that's the same building I got sniped at, I'm pretty sure. All right, now I'm staying at the very edge of zone. I'm basing up on wood. Now it's top two, it's top two. We could actually get this dub, but he's been clearing out the lobby. So we're actually in the forecast zone. What I'm gonna do here is actually, you might think this is unnecessary, but it looks cool, it's OG, and I wanna do it. And I don't wanna get sniped again. Remember guys, he is rotating from somewhere outside of the forecast zone, and I would imagine he's not outside of the current zone. All right, what I'm gonna do now is rotate. See how right here is edge circle, but the next zone is coming over here. I sniped him! Right here. Look, I'm peeking. I'm peeking. Where's my bullet? There's the bullet! Are you kidding me? It's over. It's over. Epic Games, you're sued. That's it. Best drop spot.